Hello guys and welcome to Shredder Zoo. My name is Shredder and I'm not at my zoo once again because I'm going to be doing some more taming of the new dinosaurs. Now, what is this? Shredder Zoo in the middle of the week, at the beginning of the week even, it's not even a Saturday. Uh, what is going on? Well, uh, this episode was supposed to be Survival Plus, but there was an update to the server and uh, I couldn't record on it. So I thought, well, you know, since it has been up um, arc update why not go back into the zoo and uh, we'll have a look at some of the new dinos that we didn't get around to last time out so this is a bonus episode of shredder zoo so as you can see we have a uh, a beehive up here i'm gonna have a go at turning up the beehive so um now i think what we have to do is destroy the hive and get to the queens every time i attack this we're going to be attacked by drones possibly Nothing much is coming out at the moment, it's interesting. Now these things have about 5,000 health, so I think they take quite a bit of destroying. I do have a very powerful bow though, this is a uh, compound bow. Uh, should be able to destroy it. Now interestingly, there are no drones coming out, so I'm not sure whether this is going to be working. But let's just see, we'll keep on going. There are several more about here in the Redwoods. So uh, we'll keep shooting this until we destroy it. And hopefully we can get a queen to come out. And then the Queen is a passive tame, and I believe it's Ichthyornis Kibble, which I do happen to have some on me. So we're going to give this a go, and maybe get ourselves a big giant bee, which would be really cool. And then we can show you what you do with them uh, later on. You can, you can turn the bees into honey hives. It looks like it's getting very damaged. Okay, uh, nothing came out of it. What, is that anything? Hmm, I can't really get close. There is a, it looks like there's a pack there. That's interesting. It might be some honey, but I can't actually get to it from here unless I um, fly up there. But I don't want to do it. Okay, let's go for, so find another one. That's a shame. That one didn't work. We are in a very dangerous area. Extremely dangerous. I have sort of cleared out the area a little bit, but things can easily spawn in. Okay, here's another one. Let's go over here. We'll see if we can get something to happen over here. Uh, now, as you can see, if you look, I'm jumping. Um, you can see my stamina is going down, so I am not in infant stats today. So we're doing this properly. Well, kind of properly. I do have very powerful uh, weapons. Should be able to kill. There we go. Right, let me see what we can do here. What's that over there? Is that Carno? Oh, it's the Gallimimus. We're fine. Okay, I think we're safe. Let's see if we can go for this one. Did I even hit it? Doesn't look like I'm hitting it. I'm not getting a, a marker. What's going on? Hmm. That doesn't seem to be working. The arrows are definitely sticking in it there, look. Okay, well let's keep going just in case. Although the other one was giving me um, a hit marker, wasn't it? It was like kind of a yellow one, which is interesting, not a red one. Oh, there we go. Ah, here we go. And we have some drones coming. So we see if we can take out those drones. Oh, they're coming. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Uh, okay, let's get my sword out then. We'll try and take these... Uh, with the sword. So they're all level 4. I think um, everything is kind of uh, the lower level. Possibly. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, maybe not actually. I'm sure I've seen other people's videos with higher ones. Okay. We, we dealt with them. I didn't seem to do much, much damage, did they? Looks like there's loads more drones up there. Let's keep going. Okay. Ah, I... oh, here we go. I'm getting poisoned. Now they're getting me. Oh, wow. Uh, oh my god, that broke my leggings! Oh my god! Uh, okay. We'll try and kill these bees. They didn't really seem to do much damage, but they do slow you down with that poison. Okay. Oh, where are they? Bugs are annoying to kill. <laughs> these bees are no exception. Okay. Oh, what? Well, ah, oh, we got it. Nice, there's loads more up there. This, this could be quite a challenge. Oh, uh, that's a bit, bit tricky to hit. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, let's chuck a few arrows into them. Oh, my word. This is going to be quite tricky. They're doing a little bit of damage, but they're not too bad. It's, I don't think the um, the damage that they do is really their, their thing. It's the, the poison. We're, see, we're poisoned for about 10 seconds. Um, oh, we're very tired. Let's try and get us the stamina drain. Looks like that poison could well be stamina drain. Let's have a look here. So it just says you've been stung by bees. Okay, that's fine. There's more bees there. 
Uh, okay, let's, let's keep on going then. Let's get another shot in. I wonder if I can actually take out something. I think... What's falling down there? I'm not sure. Bees are falling down. They might just... Okay, well, let's just shoot this hive again. Let's try and get a few shots in for the hive. We'll try and get this destroyed. Okay, they're coming in. Oh, I'll try and take these bees out. So this is a bit of a process. Especially if it has sort of 5,000 health. It's going to be, take quite a few shots. And of course, um, we're in such a dangerous area that the kind of the poison that they deal you is, is the dangerous thing is going to be the attacks from other people, uh, other dinos around here. So something is hurting that uh, Diplo over there, which could be what a worry. Did I get all the bees? No, one more, one more. There we go. I think we got it. Okay, let's go back to it then. Oh, it's getting dark as well. That's a real shame. Uh, okay, more, more bees. Let's get a few shots in. Oh, come on. Let's get... No, no. I'm gonna... Oh my god, what have they done? They've broken my boots now as well. This is bad news. But again, they, they don't do much damage, so I think we're okay. Oh, you can see how difficult this is. It's going to take quite a process. So wave after wave of bees. Um, you, it really sucks your stamina. Right, in the moment I'll, I'll put some gamma on so we can actually see. Because it's getting a bit dark now. Okay, there we go. Right, let me just quickly gamma up. Redwoods is dark anyway. What is that over there? It looks like... A I can't quite see from here, never mind. Let's go back to the hive. And it spawns more drones. So there's a big old process here. So this could take a while. What I might do is just kind of cut ahead to uh, when I've <laughs> done this. Oh my god, what have I got? Oh god, this is really... Yeah, again, they, they, they don't hurt at all. So it's not too bad, really. They destroy your armour. And we're in a dangerous area. That's the most dangerous thing about this. If you've got sort of decent weapons, you can kind of just kind of take these guys out with. Got one more bee, I think. What one more bee about? There we go. I think we killed it. All right, let's try and get some stamina back because we're having a bit of trouble with that. Hopefully, they, they don't um, they respawn their health or anything. There we go. We're going to have another wave. Let's try and get another few shots in. Oh, come on. No, right. Let's take him out. Uh, <laughs> God, there's so many. All right, guys, we're getting pretty close. I think we've got a little bit of a technique going here. I'm crouched down and I take a shot. You can see it's getting quite dark, so it is getting quite low on health. I can actually hit it. There we go. So we hit it. I can probably try and get in a couple of shots. Then the wave comes in. Now, they do try and they hit me a few times, but they don't really seem to do much. And they kind of just hover about. So they can't hit you very well when you're crouched. So it's much like when you're fighting the Mega Nera and the Type Manure. They do sort of struggle to hit you when you are crouched down. And I sort of struggle to hit them as well as they fly around. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just get in another shot. I'll get another wave over. Now I have switched over to ghillie armor. Because uh, I all my Ascendant stuff... Oh, sorry, my, um, what am I talking about? My Riot gear got broke. So, um, well, I don't know whether that has anything to do with it. It doesn't look like it because I, I just have got the uh, bees effect, which I hasn't been getting for a while. But, um, yeah, so we are so, so close right now. So if we can get this. Another couple of shots in for can. There we go. Oh, it's broken. Right, so the queen bee is now out. So, um, hopefully I don't, I don't want to kill the queen bee. Where did it go? We're flying over there. Let's take out these guys. I think we've got it all. Right, where did that queen bee go? Um, I'm sure, yeah, there it is, there it is. So if we run over this way, and always oh, going to spawn things, but can we get in close? We need to get in close. Oh, it slows you down. The poison is slowing me down. It's not really doing any damage. I can't catch up with the bee. Can't catch up with it. Okay, can we... Oh god, I'm going to have to try and see if I can take out some of these things again. I don't want to kill the queen. Let's make sure we're not near the queen. Kill the giant bee, that's fine. That's the giant bee, we can kill that one. Okay, right, so let's... Oh, God. Where, where is it? I can't even see it. Right, where did the bee go? So you should have gone over... Over this way. 
There she is, there she is. Oh my god, I can't get close to her. They are doing a little bit of damage now. They are draining my stamina quite badly. So this is oh, it's really quite difficult, isn't it? This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, it's the bees. I am worn out. She's flying away. I can't... <laughs> let's kill that. Oh, I got it. I suppose you can get... No, they, they disintegrate. You can't get anything for them. Right, where is she? Here is she. Get in and... Oh, I, just, I nearly saw it. There, there she is. Come on, come on. It's getting close. Where is she? No. Oh my god, this is this is bad. I'm, I'm completely stuck. Oh no, I don't want to kill her. I'm have to. I'm going to have to swing. Oh, I killed the queen. Oh, I'm so. I'm just completely stuck. I couldn't do anything at all. Oh, that was a disaster. Oh, okay. Well, back to the drawing board. That was really difficult. That was really, really difficult. Okay. Well, that was the queen bee. Um, I. <sighs> How difficult was that? And looks like there is a pack up there as well. That looks like a damaged one. Okay, well I guess I could try it again. Oh, is there some better way of doing this? I don't know. Maybe I need... Oh, I was trying to think is there any other weapons I could use. Man, I really don't know. Um, right, let me think. I'm nearly out of arrows as well. I think I might try and re-equip myself. And um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll come back. Okay guys, well there's another one here and I'm going to give it a go and uh, we'll try again. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to make you see it through all again, we'll just make sure that it is working. Here we go. So I wonder if I can just try and get as many shots off as I can. Coming at me pretty slowly. I wonder if I can avoid them a little bit. No. Okay, we're going to take these out. So uh, well, once this is done, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, the queen bee is out again. So we've, we've gotten that far. Uh, so now we need to try and get in and uh, hopefully, can we get the E on her? Oh, come on, please, please, please. Right, let's try and take out some of these uh, giant bees that are killing me. Uh, I'm not doing too badly on health. Uh, the stamina's are again a little bit of an issue. I'm take those guys out now. Where did she go? Is that her there? Yeah, that is her there. Come on, come on. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Oh, come on. Why oh, can't I get the E? Come on. No, I'm not getting it right. Okay, maybe we have to try and take out some of these guys. Oh my god, this, the stamina drain is bad. Okay, just a couple more. Try and take these ones out. Oh my god, I need to get rid of the, uh, the, the stung effect. Bees effect. Right, where is she? Where is she gone? There she is. Right. I wonder if we can sneak up. I need some stamina back. Let's eat a few mushrooms. Okay, I can see her. And in E! Yes! Got it! Oh! Oh my god, SDR! Oh, we got it. We got ourselves. We got ourselves. Queen Bee! Fantastic! Right, and uh, the uh, little bees here, they are now friendly as well. Oh, that was an ordeal! I can't believe how difficult that was! But we managed to do it, and I did it without using infinite stats. I cheated a little bit because I have given myself nice equipment, but still... Um, How's my armor doing? Not too bad at all, actually, my, my ghillie stuff. Not too bad. The armor's not uh, massive. Um, uh, armor 12, that's interesting. Like, ascendant boots? Hmm. <laughs> armor 12. Never mind. Uh, right, let's get this back to the zoo. I don't fancy doing another one right now, so I want to get this back to the zoo. And, uh, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. All right, guys, we're back at the zoo, and so I thought I would build a little apiary to put the bees inside. Now, there's a few things we need to do for this one. So if you are new to the channel, let me just explain how this series works. This is a creative building series. This is not a survival series, but what I like to do is to try and go out and tame things uh, as properly as possible, with the exception of giving myself decent equipment to do it with. So this is what we did with the bees. So I went out and tamed the bee properly. Now back at the zoo, I'm going to use admin commands to be able to build a, a structure for them to go inside um, and so that's what we're now going to do so we have the s plus mod installed on the server so we're going to be using that to uh, build this uh, structure and um, this is going to be 
uh, in between the birthing center uh, this one is quite an old structure you may not have seen this so this is where I have my um, air conditioners so that if I want to hatch out eggs I can do it in this little building here this is also where the power for the zoo is uh, is running from and uh, the other side of the apiary is going to be this is where the the cafe is so this is the original cafe that I built a long time ago uh, where we have little inside area we have a little kitchen in here where you can cook stuff uh, we have a fridge and that sort of thing uh, you also, also you may also notice that my textures are still not fixed I've been fiddling about with it, I've been putting in commands I've been running in low memory settings and everything uh, I just cannot get this, the settings to work so this is still an ongoing process and as you can see the textures are just looking awful at the moment but there's really nothing I can do about it at the moment so hopefully I can get that fixed in the next few episodes because um, I really don't like it I don't like it at all um, I, I, it may have something to do with the mods that I put on because the first time it happened was when me and Tag were building the enclosure for the uh, Chalicotheriums and the Direwolves over there and that was the first time that I'd had this server loaded with uh, this number of mods on it so it could be something to do with that I really don't know but anyway that's not the important issue what we're going to be doing here is building uh, the uh, the enclosure so I'm using uh, structures plus stuff we're going to go with some glass uh, I think a nice kind of glass um, wall would look really quite nice so we're going to go uh, with the glass all the way around the outside and at the back as well and um, yeah I was toying with the idea of putting on maybe a wooden roof but I think I'll we'll, we'll build the glass to begin with and we'll see what that looks like um, the front uh, how are we going to have the front? Are we going to have doorways or are we going to have it sort of openish? I think we'll, we'll enclose it um, to a certain extent we'll obviously need to have um, a way in as well so I've done this five wide so we can actually have a central doorway that would look quite nice there we go and I guess we'll have I guess it'll be too too high I would have thought it would be good uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I've tamed up one bee you saw how the process was done uh, let's get some more glass walls if we can uh, slip glass walls where's the walls there we go um, so you saw how the process was done so that's we had two goes unfortunately the first queen bee we accidentally killed because I got kind of stuck in there and that was it was looking bad for the time so uh, we, ha we had to kill it unfortunately but you saw the process so we could do that again but what I think I will do is um, the other bees I'm going to spawn in because um, I will show you I'll show you another one actually let's get this structure done first but you can turn them into um, hives but you then do lose uh, the bee completely um, so we need um, some sloped walls not those ones uh, so this one's going to go over like that so we'll have it up nice and high I think oh, I was going to peak it completely but then it comes up quite high doesn't it unless of course we bring this no 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 we definitely need it like this um, we'll do it like like that that looks quite good and then let's go to the doorway Okay, so I've got myself a uh, glass door frame. Let's see if we can put it in. Uh, we'll use this structure and then we can move it up like that. That's nice. And then we'll put in the walls on top. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And we'll do the same on this side. So we want like that, like that on that side, and then the walls. Perfect. And now we have some slope walls. I have them here, slope ceilings, I should say lovely and now of course with these structures plus we can alter the uh, the framing so we don't have to have all these kind of squares we can we could mess around with that as well we'll see how that looks in a moment but let's get these uh, structures put on that's good and I'm going to need to get some ceilings as well I don't have those okay so we have them we'll just finish off this little building Ooh, let's get that in move forward there you go yeah so um, yeah I hope you are enjoying this bonus episode of Shredder Zoo. Shredder Zoo normally it comes out every Saturday um, but um, because the Survival Plus server was down I couldn't do that one so uh, we we'll would normally have a Survival Plus uh, episode today um, but um, I couldn't do it so I thought well since all the new ones are out we kind of want to, uh, we'll, we'll do another zoo episode uh, okay that looks pretty good so what we're gonna do um, yeah we'll see how these look now so what we're going to do, I'll show you what happens. So E to obtain beehive. If I do E, our bee's gone. And we have in our inventory a beehive structure. So this is actually a structure that we can place down. So how big are these things? And 
Oh no! You are joking me, I can't believe I've done this. Can't place on a floor. Seriously, you have to place it on the ground. Okay. Well, I've just wasted the whole time there. Well, we'll leave this here, shall we? Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, hold on. What can we do here? I know what we can do. Let's, uh, let's pick up the, the central parts. That could look quite good, actually. I did not realise you could not put them on the floor. You can't put them inside the structure. They have to go outside. I guess the bees need to kind of uh, fly around. This idea um, that the hive should be outside. But I wanted them in a little hut so we can protect them. Okay, but that's fine. What we can do is we'll do it like this. So we'll take up the middle part. So we're kind of open like this and we've fallen down, that's that's fine. So let's see, this can now go in. We can probably get four of these inside. Uh, let's see if we can get this right up here like that. And there we have a beehive. That's pretty good. Now can you pick them up at all? No, you can either demolish them or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a few of these. So we'll have a central area with all the beehives in the middle so you can walk around the outside. Now, I am currently wearing a full set of ghillie outfit. That's kind of a beekeeper's outfit. If you wear anything else, you actually get attacked by your own hive, uh, which, which we don't want. Now, as far as I'm aware, I'm not too sure how these work. I think uh, provide rare flowers to keep the hive healthy. So we need to put some rare flowers in there. I've got plenty of them back at base, so we can go and get those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in a few more bees, and I'm going to fill this up with the beehives, and uh, we'll have a couple of actual bees in here as well. And that will look pretty good. Okay, I'll see you once I've done that. Okay guys, we are done. Let me show you around. So I've changed the model of the glass out here so we have nice big window panes. So these are made up of two walls, but I've taken out the middle beam of each of them so that all the way around the outside it looks like nice big panes of glass so you can actually see in the windows really nicely. Uh, so what I've done here is we have filled up the inside here. Uh, we've got eight beehives and uh, in, we have a couple of queen bees around here. And uh, this is all covered by the railings, so you're not going to fall in because it's actually impossible to get out again because uh, it's quite deep down there. And uh, yeah, so I think this looks pretty, pretty cool. It's a little build um, for this kind of bonus episode of Shredder Zoo. Um, yeah, I'm really quite happy with it. And I think that is going to be pretty much all for today. You can see that these guys, um, they are within range of a, uh, a feeding pen. I guess there's, there's a feeding trough over there. That's probably what they're in range of. So I'm not too sure what they eat. I guess they would eat maybe flowers as well. Um, but yeah, so I need to get some flowers in there and uh, these will start making honey. Um, and uh, you can actually use honey in various different ways, which we can get into a bit later on in, in another episode. Um, but yeah, okay, so let me know what you think of this episode and uh, with the little uh, apiary, I believe it's called, for, for bees. I think it looks very nice and it's kind of nice situated. We can actually use the honey to make cakes in our cafe. That'd be really cool. Uh, that, that'd be a role play thing. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Bees. And um, oh, actually, before we go, one thing I was asked to do and I forgot about it. Um, we will name one of these bees. Uh, we can change the name. Uh, we'll put my tag on it. Uh, this is going to be Chuck. Um, uh, Crazy Cat. 5064 uh, asked me to name a bee Chuck after his uncle who was a beekeeper and uh, he was very keen on the bees really really does like bees does crazy cat uh, 5064 so this one is for you that is for Chuck well, okay that's it that's it for today thank you so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed it um, so yeah all the links you need to know are in the description uh, we have Twitter Facebook Patreon uh, Discord channel all that kind of stuff uh, check it out and uh, give me some feedback what you think you uh, what you like about this if you like it and, and yeah I will see you next time out <laughs> goodbye <laughs>